guys welcome back to my channel if you're new on this channel hi and if you're a returning subscriber thank you guys so much for always coming back to watch my videos so you guys i may seem energetic but what you're seeing right now is the face of someone who literally slept for three hours one two three <laughs> you guys it's been hectic so what happened was yesterday i went to bed late I think I slept around 2 a.m. And if you remember from the last vlog, I told you guys that I wake up at 5 a.m. to prepare the kids for school. So I slept late editing a vlog, you guys. Editing a vlog. Honestly, I need to find better ways of doing this because I cannot afford to lose my sleep. No, I woke up to today in the morning really sluggish. I was so tired, but I had to push myself. At least I had prepared what the kids are going to carry to school uh, the previous night. Yes, I prepared it yesterday. So now it was just a few touch-ups here and there, but I can still feel it in my bones, good <laughs> Indakanet. if I begin to tell you guys the list of things that I need to do today, you will not believe it. I don't even know what I was thinking going to bed that late knowing very well that i have got a bunch of stuff to do today so yeah you guys this is me just ranting about how i slept late <laughs> anyway today is a friday you guys and um the kids have gone off to school and it's time to do my errands so things that i need to do today number one my house is out of food it's out of toiletries it's out of everything literally there's nothing in my house except rice and cooking oil okay nasmak send my getam kachi and around 5 a.m and can you believe good now vra books the matches and only found one stick of matches which i used to light the gas i even had to light a candle because i couldn't risk it to any gas how am i going to light it again that's how empty my house is at six like an images <laughs> ah, you guys so i really need to restock um things for the house i need to buy groceries okay so that's number one on the list the next thing that i need to do is there's some building work going on around the yard so i have to go and buy materials literally i have to buy everything cement uh pit sand river sand the poles planks wires a whole lot you guys these are the times when i wish my husband was here you guys do you even know how lucky you are <laughs> count your blessings okay because look at my life now i'm here thinking about groceries but i'm also thinking about building stuff why can't i just pick one battle <laughs> if my husband was here right now i could just be you know going to buy groceries and that would be all but i have to do both i have to buy groceries and i also have to think about the building materials i just can't leave uh, the other thing uh, ignore the other thing and just do one thing i have to do it all you guys so if you are there and you have not been appreciating your husband this is me coming to announce to you that please appreciate him because you don't know the amount of energy the amount of time the amount of things he is saving you okay just go and give him a kiss for me please do <laughs> anyway you guys this intro is already too long i'm in the car right now we're about to go i'm going to try and vlog as much as possible as much as i can so that you see how hectic my life is you guys so that you just see yeah so let's get going
has been so hectic you guys can you see how tired i am i don't know if you can see i don't know if you can feel the tired energy but i'm definitely exhausted it's been a long day but uh i managed to go for my grocery shopping i did get everything that i wanted but i managed to get most of the stuff so i wanted to come here and do a little bit of a grocery haul before I pick the stuff up because <laughs> there's no coming back from that. I'm going to grocery haul. Anyway, let me show you guys what I got. This is typically uh, the basic stuff that I get every month. There's a lot of stuff missing from this haul. You guys, things are expensive right now. The prices of things have gone up. So, uh, I think for this whole uh, grocery, I'm... So, for this whole grocery that you're seeing here, I spent about 150 US dollars. So, I had someone ask me in the comment section why we Zimbabwe uses US dollars. I think from my last video, or the second video from this one, you guys, it's a long story. It's a long story. Our um, currency is suffering. There was inflation. So Zimbabwe, the government said to scrap off our Zim dollar. So right now we use mostly US dollar. So most of the things here are going to be in US dollar. So let me quickly give you guys a uh, breakdown of everything that I got. I won't be able to give you the prices. I don't know if I still remember them, but I'll try. So, let me just bring you guys closer. The first thing that I got was washing powder. So, this is the brand of washing powder that I use. I got two of these. I think each was going for $4. I don't know where the receipt is. But I know I paid about 120 and then the other stuff I got from the market. So I think this was 390 if not four dollars each. Uh, I got two of those. And then obviously you guys we need diapers. Ethan is still on diapers. So when he was a little bit younger, I used to use Huggies diapers, and those are so expensive right now. So I found this brand of diapers, they're called Soft K. Uh, these are from Zambia. I think they're a Zambian brand. This is Chloe. I don't know if Cleo, Cleo the ice cream. If you watch Big Brother Africa, I don't know what season that was, but she was there. And that's how I got to know of her anyway. So this is the brand that I use. It's actually really, really good. You cannot compare it to other to these other cheap cheap brands, Vana Panda, Vanani. You know they can be a little bit plasticky, but this one, I can safely say it competes Nena Huggies. It's like almost hundred percent cotton. It's really it's a really really good brand, and I love that it's got an elastic band here at the back of the diaper, which is really good. I think Huggies has got the same feature. So I got two of those. I still have like a new pack. So in a month, Ethan uses three of these. In each of this packet, there are 40 pieces. So in a month, this is about 120 pieces of diapers. And then the next thing that I got are these tissues. These are the tissues that we use. Um, these are the La, La Fleur. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but this is a two-ply tissue. I started buying this a few months ago, and it's a really, really good brand of tissue. You guys, do say, you angry. But I used to buy like those cheap, cheap quality tissue. There was a time I was so pissed off. I was like, you know what? If you're going to use a row of tissue in a day, I'm going to buy you the cheap tissue. So I used to buy that cheap tissue for uh, for some time, but then I decided, you know what, I am not comfortable with the cheap tissue, so I went for this one. This goes for eight dollars fifty for a pack of eighteen. I think three six nine twelve for a pack of eighteen. Eighteen rows, three six nine a. This is an eighteen row two ply tissue so I got that 
and then um, the next items that I got are these you guys I'm loyal to Domestos I love Domestos so much especially this one the purple one love it love 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 it so I got two one for each uh, bathroom mine one and then the kids one and then I also got this boom cream for some reason I stopped using handy Andy it was good for some time but I when I when I discovered this I switched to this and this is a lot cheaper so yeah but it's really really good quality and then I also got um, the boom dishwasher the reason why I buy this is because it comes with the sponges you guys Okay, so the sponges are the main reason why I buy these boom dishwashers and I think it's really good quality. I stopped buying sunlight dishwasher because it was getting a little bit watery, if you know what I mean. I think Papa and my fake brands going around the market so I just left the sunlight brand altogether and it's expensive so I was just like, you know what, this is good enough. It's actually good enough. Oh, what other toiletries do did I buy? So the next items that I got are these bathing soaps. These are geisha bathing soaps. So guys, I tried these um, soaps when I was in Kenya and I was obsessed. There's the black one, there's the white one. They're really good. I think geisha upgrade from the usual geisha that we knew growing up. So yeah, this is what we use. I don't like using um, shower gels. What are they called? Anasati skin. I don't like the feeling I get after using those shower gels. I, I just don't like it. I feel like my skin is not clean. Raise your hand in the comment section if you're like me. Because I will rinse off. I will rinse off over and over and over again. Just to get that cappuccino so out of my skin not out of off my skin so yeah i tend to just use the soap and i love it especially the white one i actually use this on ethan sometimes and the first time i used it on ethan i thought it was going to react but it turns out it's really good uh so the next thing that i got is the johnson and johnson um bad time the johnson and johnson petroleum jelly this is the um jelly that ethan uses and ano and isa use also so i bought one for ethan and then one for ano and isa and you guys for some reason i have failed let me not say failed but i found it difficult to transition ano and isa into lotions I just feel like my lotion I don't see how no look. That's the honest truth. I've tried different types of lotions. I just don't like them. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hi. Hey, Chimira depends on it. I don't see how no kachin look. So I know it is I have been on this for years now. I know it's eight years old now. And she's been using this uh, petroleum jelly since she was a baby. I tried to win her off it. Yes, win her off. <laughs> but yeah, I just love it. I love how their skin shines. Kanabaka Zora, this petroleum jelly. So I don't know. Let me know, you guys, what kind of lotion do you use on your kids? Nokti Nini. I figured these kids are going to be putting on this Johnson and Johnson petroleum jelly. That's it for me. Okay. Uh -uh, let me finish. Okay? Okay. Okay, so up next, we're done with the toiletries. So I think what's remaining on the toiletries is um, fabric softener. I was about to say stay soft. Yes. <laughs> we call it we can stay soft. So what's remaining is the fabric softener. I bought some toothpaste. Uh, I bought two boxes of Colgate toothpaste. Mm, I think that's about it. Um, so the next thing is the cooking oil, Zim Gold for life. I love their cooking oil, I don't like their 
butter as much i told you guys in one of my vlogs so this is the brand of cooking oil that i use i like it because it's really thick and I I'm a peremumepo. <laughs> if you know what I mean, there's some cooking oils that are really liquidy and it's just funny, funny. So I got three of these, and then um, I got our trusted uh, brown sugar. I also got three of these. This can last us about two months. You don't use three packets in a month. That's just too much. And then um, I also got two kgs of the Red Seal salt. I also love the Pro Brands salt, but there was this one, so I just got this. And then um, up next, I got two packets of Cerevita. So I usually buy two packets of Cerevita, a box of complex, the big box or the smaller packs. I'll buy two of the smaller packs. And then a big jar of peanut butter. So sometimes they'll have cornflakes, they'll have serifita, peanut butter, or oats. That's four days of breakfast for the kids. Yeah. And then um, up next, I got the cool baked beans. I got three of these. I just got three, you guys. Pampa Sarah had three dollars, and I was like, you know what? Let me get cool, ba cool baked beans. I usually buy, I'm forgetting the name of the other one, it's a little bit cheaper but it's also nice. And then um, I got the everyday milk. I like to use this in the kids' um, porridge, especially if they are serving it Especially if I don't like, uh, sometimes I don't have the liquid milk. so. This is a good enough option for their cereals. And then the next thing that I bought is this 1 kg of buttercup. Yeah. We usually go through two tabs of the 500 grams peanut. 500 grams margarine. So this time around I found the 1 kg buttercup so I just bought that and then next hey, I've got my helpers here passing me things next I got the Cerelac one box for it and you guys this box of Cerelac what I was about to say Cerelac Cerelac okay let me finish so this one box of Cerelac goes for five dollars how much are you buying Cerelac like for? I think I saw Sharon. Sharon Mungazi. If you're not following Sharon, what are you doing with your life? Sharon is a Zimbabwe YouTuber. She's also, in my mind, she's also my online friend. <laughs> so I saw her buy these two boxes of Cerelac. I said Cerelac again. Not again. Cerelac. So usually Ethan uses he goes through two boxes of Cerelac in a month, but this time around I just bought one because I'm trying to like feed more peanut butter porridge, more oils, just bring variety to the mix. And then next I got popcorn. I, I prefer the Pro Brands popcorn, but this was what is available. What was available, so I just got that. You guys, next I bought the squash. Lemon and lime juice. I'm not a big fan of this. I usually buy Mazoe, but Mazoe right now are going for four dollars twenty a bottle. Mirai guys, Mirai. Okay, four dollars twenty a bottle, and who's got the man? Just going to take me out of budget, so I decided to go with what I could afford. So I bought this. I think this was a dollar ninety something. And then I also got the Mazoe raspberry and the Mazoe cream soda. None of these are my favorite. I know I'm going to end up buying the Mazoe orange crush. It's my favorite and I'll just keep it for myself. Okay, so next I got Rob Roy tomato sauce. Goes for a dollar each. It's the cheaper option. So... That's what I get. And you guys, my kids will go through this bottle of tomato sauce in three meals or four meals. So 
Why spend more money on something that's just good? <laughs> don't so be like me, you guys. You guys do some no farina. And then next, I got two like bottles of uh, the um, cross and black for mayonnaise. This is our favorite mayonnaise. Uh, I wish I've already shown it. Uh uh, you're not disturbing me, okay? Next, I got the Sun Gem. You guys know we are Sun Gem lovers here. You know the song, let's sing it together. Nice guy, Jim Chairo. Nice guy, Jim Chairo. Who knows? Who remembers that advert, you guys? I remember that advert like it was yesterday. Rina Price, Yakanak, San Jim. And we got hooked. My kids love it. I love it. So, this is what I buy. The salt I've already shown you guys. Um, I also got this refill, this Star Soft refill. Did I say I didn't buy this? I don't remember. But I got this refill. These are a lot cheaper than the bottled one. But in any, in my opinion, I think Anongo Shanda Bagapanan. And then next, I got this for the kids. I know these are like the mega snacks. And then I got the corn curls. King curls for eating. Not again, sugar. And then um, I got some spices and a Royco. I got candles because we've been experiencing a lot of Lord shading lately. A lot. And a little bit And then last but not least, I got the choice Lobos biscuits. I love this. And my kids always fight over the red, the red one. The chocolate. The one that's coated in chocolate. Who's getting it this time around? Who got it the last time? So it's, it's a boss. Yeah. <laughs> after, after mm. dinner, I'm getting the mega snacks. So yeah, you guys, that's all I got. That's my grocery haul. Like I say, this is not everything. We still, I still didn't buy, I still haven't bought meat. We need chickens, we need beef, we need stuff like that. Um, Murillo, Murillo. Yeah, potatoes. And I also got a sack of potatoes. Oh, this is so heavy. I got the sack of potatoes for thirteen dollars, yes. and I think I also got tomatoes a dollar, nema onion a dollar. So all in all, I think I spent around a hundred fifty dollars. And you guys, I'm telling you right now, that's not enough. Remember, we still have bread to buy every day. We still have Murillo. Uh, chicken, beef, sausages, all those things. We still have eggs to buy. We still have a lot of things to buy. So in a month, I would say we use around two hundred fifty to three hundred US dollars on groceries, which my husband thinks is a lot. <laughs> we always fight over that amount. Every month, I'm like, it's not enough, and it's like. That's more than some people's salaries. It has to be enough. And I'm like, I'm not other people. We've got kids. It's not enough. <laughs> so yeah, you guys. Uh, I'm still fighting for a, an allowance increment on groceries. Anyway, you guys, it's late. Let me pick up this stuff. Am I going to pick it up today? No. I just need to leave it there and pick it up tomorrow. So right now I want to cook dinner, we're having fish and sadza. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. There's a lot of things planned for tomorrow. I've got a function that I need to go to. I've been invited for some business lunch. So that's exciting. And I still haven't finished buying the building material. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do tomorrow. So let me sign off for today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.